So I went to the zoo a lot growing up, uh, but my dad is an architect and he used to design zoos. So he designed a primate building at one point and um, it was at the zoo I went to growing up, so we spent a lot of time there. I got really into primates. <laughs> so I decided I wanted to be a zookeeper um, in high school. I had always wanted to be a vet growing up because I knew I wanted to work with animals. Um, but then I had the chance to do a summer camp at a zoo where I got to work with the zookeepers and the animals and I learned that I really enjoy uh, training and behavior. If I could be any animal, um, I would probably want to be a gibbon or a river otter because they always are having fun. <laughs> I would totally be a red panda. I don't even know why I questioned that for a second. They love the cold. I love the cold. <laughs> and they're adorable. So I go through, my shoes last me quite a while, but they probably shouldn't last as long as I make them last. So I think these shoes I've had for about three years, but I probably needed to replace them a year ago. <laughs> um, I spring for the expensive shoes, so I can yeah, make it like a year and a half, two years. I think my last pair did last me three years, but they were in really bad shape by the time I got rid of them. <laughs> um, in a single day, I take at least 9,000 steps, um, but it depends on which area of my department I'm in, so it can probably range from 9,000 to 12,000. Exhausting. But I mean that in a good way, where like you're like happy, tired at the end of the day. You know, you didn't work. If I could describe being a zookeeper in one word, would, it would maybe be adaptability. Um, it's really important in being a zookeeper because things change every day on a moment's notice, and you have to be able to change with it.